Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. And remember a few months ago when they were testing the new trains for the Big Apple roller coaster at the New York New York Hotel in Las Vegas, and it derailed and took some of the track with it? Well, they fixed it, and those new trains just debuted and premiered last week at the New York New York Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. These are um, premiere trains, brand new premiere trains, and you can easily see the premiere trains by the classic little fins. And it looks like, again, like one of those Skyrocket 2 trains. I think it actually is the Skyrocket 2 train. Um, something you'd see like an electric eel or a tigress at Busch Gardens, Tampa, and SeaWorld San Diego. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at these nice, awesome trains. So here it is coming into the station. Um, this is when the ride is over. This is the one's coming right back into the casino. You can see this from the food court area. Here's a better, clearer look, and you can see what I'm talking about again with those classic little premier train design fins. They turned them, basically it turned turned the premier train to a taxi cab, like all the other iterations of the train have been. And... <laughs> It looks great. They're using three car trains. And there's two three car trains, and apparently there was the line snaking all the way through the casino on opening day. <laughs> I'm not sure if people just really like this coaster, if there's slow operations, or if people want to check out the new trains, or a combination of all three. But I've never seen a line snaking through. We haven't heard of a line snaking through the casino to ride the roller coaster. But that's awesome. And there's increased interest in this coaster, and I'll go be taking a look at these new trains when I'm back in Vegas, hopefully later this month or in March. And let's take a look at some other angles of these cool looking premiere trains. And also the ride experience from people I've seen online with the reviews and stuff. They said it's much smoother. It's the best iteration of all the previous generations of trains. So that's awesome. Obviously the track is different. I mean, <laughs> the track is like from the, like the 80s or something or 90s. So, uh... It's obviously made for a different type of coaster, but they made it work, and it's really awesome. So, maybe they can do even three, since the trains are kind of small, they can do maybe three, fit in a three train operation there. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see how this goes. I'll definitely be checking them out. Um, it might even sound, because I am listening to it, it, you know, it's pretty loud, the older trains, so maybe the premier trains might be very smooth and quiet you'll well it'll be very interesting to see maybe we'll do a little off-ride pov of this attraction as well but what do you guys think of the new trains and are you surprised i'm kind of surprised because when they were testing the premier trains and it derailed and some of the track broke i thought it would take much longer than just a few couple months to fix that but it it, it was pretty quick in my opinion they fixed the track and fix the derailment. So what do you guys think of that? Do you think it was rather quick and uh, that they fixed all that? Or do you think it took longer than expected? Will these new trains encourage you to go to New York, New York and Las Vegas and try out this coaster? Or do you have prior bad experiences that you'll never get on it again? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up button and click the notification bell for more theme park updates and also subscribe. And have a Beautiful, fantastic day.